Okay, so obviously from this from the title of this video, this is my testimony of how Jesus saved me from the New Age movement. And before I get into this video, um, I want to make just a quick, uh, you know, disclaimer or statement. I don't know. Um, I don't make YouTube videos. I, you know, I'm not a person to sit down in front of a camera and talk. Um, actually, I am a pretty private person and growing up, you know, at my, in my hometown, going to my home school, uh, my home public school, um, you know, I, I was, I went, you know, very unnoticed and, um, not spoken too much, you know, many people didn't really take the time to, you know, get to know me, even though we... We're in school, you know, for 12 years together, okay, but that's beside the point. I just want you to realize that I'm sitting here today talking about something really serious, and only four days ago was I saved from this movement. Only four days. And so anyone watching this that follows the New Age believes in the New Age practices, just know that I'm not judging you. I am not forcing upon you that you change your beliefs. I'm simply making this video as a warning, almost, maybe as just, just, if this can help one person to realize what I realized just four days ago, then, you know, my job is complete because I am feeling extremely pulled to make this video regardless of the fact that this is something that I never would have pictured myself doing in a million years, okay? So, yeah, I'm just, I'm literally sitting in my car uh, right now, um, and I'm probably just gonna upload this, you know, when I'm done, so let's just, I guess, I'm just gonna get right into it, so, okay, so the New Age movement, I'm gonna just, like, briefly kind of cover what it is, and I'm just, underneath what I'm about to say, there's a lot, a lot of things that go into it, and if you know what I'm talking about, then you can probably, you know, pick up where I'm coming from. Um, the New Age movement has anything to do with the law of attraction, manifestation, uh, energy healing, Reiki, um, some forms of meditation, um, chakra cleansing, um, uh, all of that stuff. Okay, there's so many, there's so much to it. Um, so this is the movement that I'm talking about. And if you are on social media right now, then you'll understand that this whole movement is picking up very quickly, um, very quickly and gaining a lot of momentum in our, uh, life. I don't know. And so you might be looking at me like, girl, you're talking crazy. But just bear with me here. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna like get into I'm gonna start right from the beginning. I'm gonna talk briefly about my background of you know how I grew up uh, in my home. I grew up in a Christian home. I grew up knowing God. I was I went to church with my family. Um, I went to a really influential part of my um, you know relationship with God um, in my younger years was, my summer camp that I went to, it was a Christian-centered summer camp. I went from the summer after third grade until the summer before I started high school. And I went every single year. Like, I, when I tell you I love this place, I love this place. Okay, but anyway, so I, I grew up knowing God. And my parents, you know, props to them. They did a, a amazing job raising me, um christian because they never forced upon um the beliefs the religion they never forced anything upon me and my brother my brother and i we had the choice of if we wanted to go to church or not and i think that's looking back on that i'm so thankful that my parents you know raised me like that because there's a lot of people who turn away from god because of how much it was forced on them, um, 
and yeah so i just want that to be known that i i did grow up knowing god and ta was taught about it. anyway so it was probably about around sixth grade so right before middle school um we move up at my church there's the children's ministry and then there's the middle school and then there's the high school and then obviously the congregation and the church with like the normal church service and so it was probably around sixth grade um you know i'm moving up to middle school church services and like i said uh, in the beginning of this video i didn't i was just very like low-key i don't know i just people looked past me like i just i wasn't someone that was noticed and you know i'm not blaming anyone who went to my church for the reason why i turned away from god but it was more so that I would go to church and I would just, no one would talk to me. I would sit there and I would just, I would literally just sit there and just listen to the kids around me and the youth um, ministers as well. And I was never spoken to. And mind you, I'm like 13, 14 years old. And when I go to church and it's supposed to be this place of God, this place where we're preaching of God. And I go to church and I just feel so alone. And I felt like it wouldn't even matter if I didn't come here. Like no one's even noticing that I'm here. So I was like, why am I here? What am I doing here? Like no one is no one's acknowledging me, no one's praying for me, like, what am I doing here, right? So, yeah, I decided that I was done going to church, and that is probably, that's where it all began, probably, because I obviously was, grew up knowing God, being taught God's word, and then you know, it just kind of changed, and I was, I got led down the wrong path, and I'm about to get into that right now, so I, the first thing that I was drawn to in the New Age movement was obviously the law of attraction, and that's, like, a huge part of the whole New Age movement, and the law of attraction, you know, I don't know the specific definition of it, but basically it's, you attract what you put out. So if you're negative, you're going to attract negative experiences and negative emotions. And if you're positive, you're going to attract positive experiences and positive emotions. And this is all very true. Like, I'm not denying anything. I'm not denying that anything is not real because this is all so real. And like, this is all so real. <sighs> So I'm not denying the power of the law of attraction, the power of manifestation. I'm not denying the proof behind chakra healing, chakra healing, chakra cleansing. I'm not denying any of this. This is all very real. Otherwise, people wouldn't be following it, you know? So that's what led me down this path. So that's the first thing. And then, you know, after that, I get into yoga. After that, I get into chakra cleansing. I get into frequency healing. I get into crystals and I start watching tarot. I'm doing pick a cards. I'm watching mediums. I'm watching fortune telling. I'm like getting into all this stuff. And mind you, this is all under the same category. Whether you think it is or not, it is. So, you know, I'm really into all of this. And like for like one of the first times I felt like, okay, like, this is proof. Like, I can roll with this. Like, I can roll with this. Like, this is dope, right? Like, I can just manifest whatever I want in my life. Like, who didn't tell me this sooner, you know? This is just all the deception behind it, you know? I'm sorry, I keep saying that. But, yeah. So, I am, like, being led down this path. And, like, there's so much that I want to say right now. 
if people watch this video and you wish to, you know, hear more in depth of how deceitful the new age is, and if you want to see physical proof from the Bible, from God's word, from just if you want me to dive deeper into these concepts, then I totally will. You just ask and I will. But I'm not sure anyone's going to even see this video. So I'm not going to go crazy into detail. So here I am. I'm, I, I straight up thought I was a freaking indigo child, guys. Like, I don't know if you know what that means. Probably. It's like, I thought that I had some type of special, like, ability to... I wish I knew the definition of an indigo child, because now I don't even really know the exact definition, but I thought that I was special, okay? I thought that I had powers. I thought I had healing powers. I thought I could be one of these people who were these energy healers, you know? I thought that I could be an aura reader. I was getting into it all. I was like very, very close to buying my first tarot deck because I really believed that I was, what I was studying in this new age movement, I believed that I had what it took to be, to start practicing it. Um, Cause that's what happens. You know, when you start, you start researching, you start doing, you start doing the things that you're taught through this new age doing things that you're told are gonna change your life are gonna give you what you've always wanted and I'm here to tell you right now this is all a lie okay and the reason that I you know what back up I, I'm sorry I don't make YouTube videos I don't hardly speak okay this is very new for me and confusing and weird so a few days ago only four days ago only four days ago five days ago from right now i was practicing all this stuff that i'm telling you right now is bad so i'm not here like like I'm not coming from a place of judgment. I'm just getting my word out there. I am hoping that someone watches this video. Um, four days ago, I was scrolling on YouTube. And mind you, you know, I'm a full-on practicer of this New Age movement, okay? I have completely changed my social media to only show me stuff of this, what I thought was positivity of good, of stuff that... I should be following, okay? And all of a sudden, in the midst of all of this chakra cleaning, tarot, pick a cards, crystals, manifestation, law of attraction, YouTube videos, I see a video that I've never even seen. Just popped up in my homepage, you know? So it was a lady's testimony of how she left the new age to follow Jesus Christ. And I was like, hmm, I don't know. A light bulb went off in my head and I was like, this should be interesting. I was like, you know, I was kind of judging from the title. I was like, okay, like what's going on? Like she started going, talking about manifestation, all the stuff. I'm like, oh, whatever. And then at the end of the video, I, I don't know what it was. I just had a, like, a light bulb go off in my head. And I prayed to God. And mind you, I haven't prayed in so long. And I prayed to God for a sign that he was, that this, what I just realized, if this is true. Because... You know, in this whole entire, the whole point of this new age movement is to find happiness, find peace, find love, find all these things. But yet, when people finally manifest their dream car, what do they do? They look for the next thing to manifest. And this right here is 
the issue. This is the issue. This movement makes you believe that you gotta keep going. Like, you will never be satisfied. You gotta keep... Like, if you have... If you realize that you can manifest a cup of free coffee, of course you're gonna be like, alright, like, let me try this for my dream car, right? Like, yeah, this is working for me. And then you manifest this dream car, and then what? Oh, shoot. I want a house, bro. So then you're like... I'm manifesting a house. And then you get your house. And then you have a big house. You have everything you've ever wanted. Yet you still feel a void in you. You're still wondering what it is. Like, what's going to complete you? What is it that's going to complete you? I'm telling you. I never thought this was going to be me. But I'm telling you, that is Jesus that you're looking for. This is not... This is not, this is not, this is not, you do not want to get into this new age movement. And I'm like losing words. I'm, I'm afraid that I'm just rambling and people aren't going to watch this video. Um, and I hope you're staying with me, but this is not, listen, if you are calling upon your spirit guides, just as I had done myself, I'm not calling anyone out right now, okay? I'm coming from just, this was me four days ago, okay? I thought that I could call upon my spirit guides. I thought that I had spirit animals and I had spirit guides and I was talking to them through tarot and I was inviting them into my room and I was inviting them into me. But... We can't see them. And these things that are saying are your spirit guides, they're very real. But what I have to tell you is they are not what you think they are. They are not. They are disguised as a being of light. But what you are talking to, what you are creating, what you are summoning, what you are calling upon is demonic. It's not pure. It's not, it does not want good for you. It does not. It actually wants you to go through hell. Okay, that's the whole point of Satan. Like, the dark, like, they want to drag you down, like, I... I, w I should have wrote a script or something because I feel like I'm going off, but I thought that I was calling upon my spirit guides and I, I was opening my third eye. Like, this is all real thing. This is all real. These spirit guides were in my room, okay? I felt them. I felt these entities in my room. They were present. And when I tell you that I can hardly sleep, I am dead serious. I can hardly sleep at night. I am terrified. I am, I can barely eat. My diet in, has changed. Like, I can hardly eat food. I can hardly sleep in my dark room. Like, these entities that I was calling upon, I don't know how I didn't realize the subtle yet large effect and feeling. The gut feelings that I had of these things in my room were not good. I shouldn't... If you're calling upon these things that are said to be guiding you, are said to be helping you, then why was I feeling scared? Like, I don't know how I didn't put this together sooner, but anyway, so I watched, um, the video, um, of this woman's testimony, and I prayed to God that if what she was saying was true, if what I have been practicing is demonic, even though to me, I was like, 
demonic one. What? Yeah. Um, I asked God to show me. I asked God, I prayed to God, I said, God, if what she is saying is real, like, I need to know. And so four days ago, this day that I saw that video, that changed my entire perspective. That day, after that video, I had to keep watching more and more and more testimonies. I kept going. I was like, oh my goodness, I need to get as much information on this as possible. Um, because no matter what you believe, if you watch this video and you still are like, nah, like, new age all the way, then, <sighs> guys, I'm losing my train of thought. This video is getting long and I'm getting worried. But anyway, I kept watching videos, um, and I just was kept getting blown away with what I'm finding, with what people are experiencing. People are experiencing crazy things i'm lucky for what i experienced to prove to me that this is not real because the other stories of people on here what they say is terrifying terrifying so please do your research before you decide if what i'm saying is true or not so I went all day. I'm just like consuming myself in this. I'm like, okay, I need to know if what I like, what am I doing? Do I even know what I'm doing? So I'm going, I'm just, I'm watching videos. I'm reading scripture. I'm, I'm, I'm studying what this lady said. I'm trying to see if I'm trying to uncover if I agree with her. And that night it was nighttime i again like i said i fight my sleep i have a hard time sleeping um because i have an underlying fear and like it's it's there and it's big like i can't sleep i gotta sleep with my main bedroom light on and i'm almost 20 years old okay so I'm laying there, I'm trying to go to, I'm not trying, I mean, I'm laying in bed, I'm just watching YouTube videos, and I'm falling asleep, obviously, um, and I drift into a sleep, and I don't know if what I experienced came to me in the form of a dream, oh my gosh, someone just pulled behind me, and every time someone has pulled behind me, I have ended this video and started over, but I'm, like, so far now, I just, oh, I don't know what to do right now. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of wait, and I guess I'll have to edit this video. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's different now. Okay, so, where was I? So, I'm at, okay, so I'm laying in bed, and I'm falling asleep. And I don't know, okay, I was sleeping. So, I think it was a dream. But it also was physical, so I can feel what's going on. Alright, so I'm not sure exactly what is happening. And it's not sleep paralysis. I have had sleep paralysis before. I'm not experiencing sleep paralysis right now. Okay, so I... In my sleep, I'm sleeping. In my, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about this. Okay, I'm sleeping. Maybe I wake up a little bit because I have a, I feel, I can, I have a feeling. I have a feeling of something is a weighing on my body. I'm telling you right now, this is not sleep paralysis. I have had sleep paralysis multiple times. This is not sleep paralysis. Please don't comment that. I feel like a weight on my, on me. And I, I can almost hear a low buzz. And the only, I am just feeling evil. Like, I don't know how to explain it. What I felt was not good. And what was building inside me was such great fear. 
just so scared. This feeling is so awful, disgusting, horrible. I don't know what's going on. And all of a sudden, I'm, my eyes are closed. I'm dreaming. I'm, this is, I'm falling asleep. I'm sleeping. I don't know. And I don't know if I said it out loud or if this was like a vision in my head or a dream, but I say, Jesus loves you. Yeah, that comes out of my mouth. Jesus loves you. And then just like, oh my gosh, my stomach just growled. But I say over this feeling that I have, Jesus loves you. And when I tell you, I can't even wrap my head around this. When I tell you that simultaneously, as soon as I get done saying you, as in Jesus loves you, the feeling immediately switched to the opposite of what I was feeling. So it switched from that awful, horrible feeling to like a hug. I, it just, I felt so safe. I felt just so much peace. And I fell asleep. Like, right away. Like, it put me to sleep and... I have such a hard time sleeping lately and it put me to sleep and made me feel safe and from that moment on I believe that what that lady in that YouTube video was saying is true and all these people on YouTube who are posting their testimony they're absolutely correct they are telling you the truth I woke up the next morning. I broke out my Bible. I started reading it. And I wish I had gotten this prepared so I can read the scripture that I read. But it was in Matthew. And Jesus warned the people of a false prophet. And mind you, this is the morning after that I experienced what I think was Jesus. I start reading a book in Matthew, or a chapter in Matthew, and the scripture I read spoke to me, and my stomach is growling. If you hear that, that is so embarrassing, but I read about the false prophet and when I tell you that I was converted from all of my previous beliefs immediately I'm telling you that I ditched it all I burned my new age books you might think that's dramatic but I'm not the only one. Like, I needed to get those away from me after what God showed me. And there are so many good stories out there, even better than mine, of people who were saved by Jesus. And I just hope that after this video, you go and watch some more because and do some research. And, you know, the last thing that I want to say, because I think that I'm running out of things for this video to say, because I don't want it to be overwhelmingly long, because I want people to watch this. Um, I just want you to know that we were warned. 
you know, I'm new. Um, I'm a newborn Christian. As of four days ago, I'm just now immersing myself in this. So I have so much to learn. But something that I do know is that we are warned that the devil himself, Satan himself, is capable of masquerading as a being of light. Does that make sense? We were told and warned that the devil himself can disguise himself as an angel of light. And that is what the new age is. It's all a lie. And the devil is, is is the king of lies. Do you understand that? He is the king of lies. He is the king of deceit. He is the king of false prophet. This is what he wants. This has been this is this has been the this is spiritual warfare. It's been there. It's been there. It's always been God. It's always been the good against the bad. It's always been. And Jesus would never would never allow for the law of attraction. He would never allow it because the devil took him and showed him the kingdom of the world and said that if he bowed down and worshipped him, that he could have anything he desires. And he condemned him away. He said, no. He said, I serve one God. And we aren't supposed to be attached to earthly things. We come to this earth with nothing. And we leave this earth with nothing. And unfortunately... Honestly, in the book of Revelation, it's the last book of the Bible. It's basically how God explains the end of the world. And one of the first signs of, you know, the coming of Jesus, like when he comes in, the first sign of the end of the world is spiritual deception. And as soon as you realize this that I'm talking about, then the true veil is lifted. You see. You see the deception. You start to see the lies. You start to see how easy it is to believe that what what I was doing and what people are doing is okay and real and pure and good but underneath it all in the core of this the intention the core the main drive of this belief of this creation that was created is the devil he's (laughs) oh my gosh it's just i hope and i pray that anyone who watched this video you can see what I'm talking about. Um, please feel free to comment. Um, you know, I'm not gonna pay attention to anyone who's trying to tell me that what I'm saying is not true. Um, I was deceived just as you were only five days ago. And so I understand. I understand where you are. I understand what has a hold of you. I understand where you're coming from so i want to just this video is to open a discussion um and i want to know your thoughts and i want to know um what you think of what i had to say and again if you need more if you need more explanation from me more in depth on certain concepts then I would be more than happy to you know maybe 
try and do that for you. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have to say. And that's my testimony that Jesus Christ is king. He's the, he is the one, he's the way. And unfortunately, we are a world falling into a trap. Um, and I just want you to know, this is the last thing that I have to say, is that God already overcame the world. He already overcame this world. He already... He sent his Jesus Christ to come for our sins. He died for our sins. We're saved because of that. And I just hope and I pray that you can see where I'm coming from.